Hi class, this is Mix Alvarez and uh, today we are going to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. Um, it is not possible to add fractions that have denominators, which are these guys here at the bottom, that look different. The denominators need to be the same. Uh, one way to do that is by finding the least common denominator first, and that's by looking at both denominators separately. So if you look at this uh, next little space here of our four square, um, you have the factor eight and the factor five, and we're just going to list off uh, the factors of eight and the factors of five. Uh, we're going to start with the factors of eight here. So eight times one is eight, but eight times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. Um, 8 times 5 is going to be 40. And uh, I'm going to stop right there for a second, and I'm going to go down to my 5 and start listing off its factors. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30. Um, so I still have not yet found a um, common denominator or a common factor. I'm just going to keep going here with my 5s here. So 5 times uh, 7 is 35, and then 5 times 8 is 40. And here I can identify... Um, my least common denominator or the common factor which was a 40. So looking at our little uh, four square here we're going to go down to this third square um, to help us figure out what we're going to multiply to both fractions in our equation here so that we can get the denominator to be 40. So this denominator, the end result is going to be 40. But what we're missing is that piece, that factor, to multiply 8 by to get the 40 in the first place. And same thing down here. I need to multiply this 5 by a certain factor to get 40. Um, one way of doing that is I can look back up here. So 8 times 1 is 8. Um, how many times did I get to 40? That would be 5. So 8 times 5 is 40. And if I'm going to multiply 5 at the bottom here, I have to multiply 5 at the top. And 4 times 5, that becomes 20. Looking at the, at the fraction below here, um, the factor that I need to multiply 5 by to get 40, if I count up here, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 5 is 40. So then 5 times 8. And what I multiply at the bottom, I must multiply at the top. 4 times 8 is 32. And then, friends, I, um, I'm going to look at my last quadrant here. I'm going to do a lot of uh, math here, so brace yourselves. Um, first, I'm going to rewrite the equation. So I no longer have 4 eighths. I have 20 over 40. So I'm going to write 20 over 40. And I'm going to add to that no longer 4 fifths, but... 32 over 40. So 20 plus 32, so that's going to become 52. And our denominator stays the same. We don't we don't add our denominators here. We just uh, the, they just stay the same throughout. Now, we could say we're done here if um, if your teacher or if you run into a, a question that asks um, to, to leave your number 
as a as a mixed number and not an improper fraction well that would be because this number here is considered an improper fraction so this is actually an example of an improper fraction because the uh, numerator is is greater or bigger than the denominator when that happens we have an improper fraction and um, it is best to uh, convert it to a mixed number uh, to do that you actually have to use um, a division so i'm going to draw a box because i'm going to use the box method when um you look at fractions, friends, you can think of them as uh, a division problem. So if you've noticed, uh, uh, and I'll just take a different sheet to show you. If you notice a division um, sign has, a, it's a line, and then it has a, a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom. Well, this symbol here looks like any fraction because when you when you draw a fraction, you still have a line in the middle, but instead of two dots, you have a number at the top called the numerator right and then you have a fraction uh, or a number at the bottom which is called the denominator denominator so you can think of the uh, uh, fractions as division and division as fractions that's a um, fun fact right there so i'm going to use division to get my mixed number here, inside the box, I'm going to do the number 52. Outside the box is going to be 40. And this is where I start to do some fun math. Uh, 40 cannot fit into 5 at all. 0 times 40 becomes 0. Subtract it from 5 and you get 5. You want to drag the 5 up and over. 40 goes into 52 uh, once. 1 times 40 is uh, 40. Subtract 40 from 52 and you get the number 12. So then in your answer, um, as your mixed number, you can write the whole number 1. The remainder here. 12 and finally the denominator 40 if your teacher asks you to simplify this fraction the way to go would be uh, look at 12 and 40 and think of how they're related well they can both be divided by 4 so 40 divided by 4 and 12 divided by 4 you would get, don't forget your whole number, 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 40 divided by 4 is 10. And then you get 1 and 3 tenths.